Welcome to City Hall. My name is uh, Vice Mayor Brian Fry. Mayor Longwell had a family commitment this morning, so I am filling in today. Um, and certainly it's hard to believe that the holidays are here and that we're less than two weeks to go before Christmas. And I hope everyone is on good behavior so you'll get nice presents, including you, George. So um, we do have a couple of topics today. I know last week we had a lot of items today. We, we have just two. Um, the first one and this is pretty exciting. We're thrilled to announce um, that the city of Wichita has been awarded a grant from the lead-based paint hazard reduction program in the amount of over $1.6 million. This grant's going to allow us to address lead hazards in 110 housing units. And this will provide safer homes for low and very low income families with children. We'll be working with the Healthy Homes Program the Wichita Sedgwick County Division of Health, Kansas Health Foundation, Wichita Housing Authority, and the Kansas Safety Training Center. So here to tell us more is our very own John Hall, Director of Housing and Community Services. John? Thank you, Vice Mayor Fry, and good day to all my neighbors. I'm very excited to introduce to you Lead Safe Wichita. This is uh, funds that we're getting from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, roughly $1.7 million for a three-year grant period to provide uh, lead hazard reduction in homes that have had uh, lead-based paint use prior to 1978. We estimated that the need is about 12,000 households uh, or housing units have lead-based paint issues. But we are focusing our efforts in particular on those households that have children uh, under the age of six who have tested for elevated blood levels of lead poisoning. So this particular grant will help us to focus our efforts on 110 households uh, so that we can remediate, educate, and actually eliminate the lead hazards that are going on in these households. We will be working with our strategic partners. It will transcend uh, among city, county, and state government agencies, as well as private sector, nonprofit organizations, and foundations. We will work with local contractors uh, with appropriate lead training and certifications to ensure our project is successful. We are very grateful and excited. I want to thank the staff uh, with the Housing and Community Services Department. Uh, back in July when the grant was due, we stayed here almost close to midnight trying to fine tune our application and we had too much, uh, we had too many pages and we had to scale it down and, and we had a, a, an assembly line going trying to, to figure out how we were going to get this grant. And so I, I thank all of them as well as all of you for your support. Uh, this is a huge uh, opportunity for us to do great work uh, in the manner of helping our, our kids who are six years and, and younger uh, to eliminate their elevated blood levels. Uh, so thank you, Vice Mayor. Thank you. It's uh, amazing that we still have to deal with lead paste paint in homes these days. It's something you would have thought would have been eradicated long ago. And, and John's been a magician at discovering and finding grants and funds, and so we thank you and your department for this. Uh, a great service to the community. So our next item, and I feel like the safest man in Wichita right now because I've got police, fire, and EMS right <laughs> at my left. Um, so as the holidays we talked about earlier, it is a time of giving. And, and there are many ways that you can help through nonprofit donations and volunteering for service. But one of the most important and precious things you can do is donate the gift of blood. And each year, our public safety professionals uh, hold a friendly competition to see who can gather the most donations of blood. Uh, we call this the Battle of the Badges. And uh, one simple blood donation can save the lives of up to three people. So Wichita Police, Sedgwick County Sheriff, Sedgwick County EMS, Sedgwick County Fire Department, and the City of Wichita Fire Department are all competing to get the most donations. Um, you may contribute your blood donation to your favorite department by indicating to the Red Cross which department is your favorite when you donate blood. And that can be done at the Blood Donation Center at 707 North Main, and you can book your appointment online at redcrossblood.org or you can call 
Red Cross. 1 800 Red Cross. Um, at City Hall, we're going to have a blood drive next week on the 19th. And so I don't know who's all volunteered yet. S City Council Member Clay comes in the back of the room. Are you, are you going to? Am I putting you on the spot? So we'll see if she's going to. She's probably going to turn the tables and put me on the spot. So um, the Battle of the Badges is underway through December 31st. And here with us, along with our safety personnel that I mentioned earlier, is Kelly Ty Carpenter of the Red Cross. And I know she has something to add. Kelly? Thank you. Um, I'm here today to kick off the 24th annual Wichita Sedgwick County Battle of the Badges Community Blood Drive. The yearly event helps the American Red Cross collect blood during a difficult holiday season. A lot of times during this time of year, people are traveling or they're with family members and they forget about their life-saving donations. In 23 years, Wichita and Sedgwick County first responders have helped us collect over 27,000 pints of blood. We've re sorry, we're incredibly thankful for these agencies for coming together once again to help donate blood and encourage the community to do so as well. This year, the event begins on Monday, December 17th and runs through December 31st. Our goal is to collect 1,355 platelet and blood donations. And we can get those done at the uh, Red Cross Blood Donation Center, which is 707 North Main. That is right next door to the fire department, right across the street from dispatch. Um, we rely on the support of our local fire, law enforcement, and uh, EMS to help make this event a success. And I have each of them here to tell you just a little bit more about it. Is this where the trash talking begins? Well, I don't know about trash talking we're here's this is my name is uh captain chris fleming with the wichita fire department uh this is uh firefighter bob bob battle the badges bob <laughs> let's put these up here there we go have to you know make sure that everybody's front and center the important people are front and center here as a uh, as a member of the wichita fire department i know firsthand what it feels like to help save a life the amazing thing about the Battle of the Badges is that anybody can donate blood and anybody be can become a, uh, a lifesaver this holiday season. Giving blood only takes about an hour and the amazing thing about that is with every blood donation, you have the possibility and the ability to save up to three people. So come out, donate blood, give the gift of life this holiday season Vote for fire and have a Merry Christmas. Yeah, all right. Who's next? You're going to take Bob or you're going to leave him up here? He, he needs to stay. Okay. He's, he's kind of an integral part of the process. <laughs> I'm Scott Bruno, uh, B R U N O W at the Wichita Police Department. And where's the trophy at? Oh, yeah. Law enforcement has it because we won last year. <laughs> Keep that in mind. And so we'll just, uh, we had Bob up there. We'll put our little fireman or our policeman up there. Uh, over the years, uh, first responders as a whole, we see the need, uh, whether you're a victim of a car accident, a house fire, uh, different tragedies that happen. Uh, the need for blood is constant. We see it every day. We deal with it. Uh, come down, give blood, instant gratification, and it's the gift that keeps on giving. As, as it's been said, you can help up to three people with one donation of blood. So when you come down you get to cast, and you give blood, cast your vote. You can choose fire if you've got a family member that's on the fire department, that's on EMS or law. Um, if you want to vote for that agency, go ahead. But I would encourage you to vote for law enforcement. Thanks. Good morning. I'm Philip Thompson. I'm a paramedic with Sedgwick County EMS. Um, we did win the battle just the year prior before law enforcement, so the trophy would be coming back home where it truly belongs. Um, every two seconds, someone in the United States needs a blood product. That's a pretty staggering statistic. As first responders, it's our job to ensure that these patients get to the hospital where they can receive that life-saving blood. Uh, without the work of the Red Cross and donors across Kansas, uh, we may not be able to get to um, these people with the donation that they need. So this holiday season, go out, give uh, the gift of life, and make sure to vote for EMS. We need to set the stage. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Good morning, my name is Jeremiah Christofferson. I work with Sedgwick County Fire District number one. I think I can speak for everybody here. We are proud to support this annual event. We found that the number one reason why people don't donate is because they've never been asked. So we all have come up here and had our say to request that the community come out and support your local community. You never know, you may end up supporting yourself, you may end up supporting a loved one by your donation. Only about 38% of the population actually donates and a small, or is able to donate and only a fraction of them actually do. Donating is one of the easiest ways that you can affect your community, affect a loved one. So again, come out, give your donation, sign up, vote for your favorite uh, agency and make sure it's one of these firemen up here. Merry Christmas. So whether you vote for EMS, fire, or law enforcement, the real winners of the Battle of the Badges is, of course, the many patients that we serve at over 100 hospitals across the state of Kansas. Another thing is if you do come in to donate blood, you will receive a commemorative Battle of the Badges t-shirt, which you can see up there. Um, it's always a fun thing that we do every year. The committee puts it together and puts all the planning behind it. Um, again, if you go to redcrossblood.org, you can go to 1-800-RED-CROSS, or you can download our blood donor app to sign up. And uh, we look forward to seeing everybody at the Battle of the Badges. Thank you. Thank you, Kelly. And I would just like to remind everyone that our first responders uh, do this uh, out of the goodness of their heart. They believe in it so much. And, and this is a way we can continue to support their efforts as they help us every day. And I think the theme today between the lead-based paint removal and the blood donation is serving others. And what better time of the year for these messages to be brought forth as we're doing the holiday season. So get out uh, and help the blood drive and let's, let's raise more than we did last year. So thank you all for being here. Any questions? All right, well again, happy holidays and donate blood.